to the video. I am filming a Yankee Candle haul. And it's the first Yankee Candle haul I've done because these are basically the first ones I have ever bought. Well, I have had two sampler votives that I've had for a year and I've only just finished burning them. So I'm going to really start. I've always wanted to burn candles, but I just never really can be bothered to. But I'm going to start because I bought the whole of the Christmas collection. I bought all the mini votives and I think there was 18. So here's the box that came in and it was a really nice package actually. I've had this parcel maybe two weeks so yeah maybe a week and a half I don't know but I've been wanting to film it for all that time because I just want to use the candles. So after this video I'm going to start burning the first candle. Now I can't actually really describe them as such because obviously I haven't burned any of them before so I don't really know what they're going to uh, smell like. I suppose I can just do a first impression. All I can smell is Christmas already. And that's how it's came. A really nice box. Look how nice they've been packaged. Really nice. And it looks like there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight red ones, five white ones, two green ones, a blue, a yellow, creamy one, and a pink. So oh, it smells so nice. So I can literally just smell spot smell spices the most um so i'll just quickly run through the collection if you don't know obviously which ones there are and my first impressions now go open it and all you're gonna hit now is bubble wrap there so they all ranged i bought them off the website and they were all i think one pound 80 each and yeah the good thing i like about the voters is because i I don't really know a lot of candle smells. I like to try loads and I'm quite versatile with scents. I do like most scents, especially most Christmas scents anyway. So this is why I like to get the votives and I just have my own two glass jars. Which, if you didn't know how to reuse jars, uh, once you finish burning all the wax, put it in a freezer overnight or, only, or maybe two hours works, but overnight works better. And then just scrape the remaining um, wax out with a knife and then you can reuse the jar. So, this is a random model where I'm going to pick out the bag. So, first of all, there is Cozy by the Fire. I don't know how good these uh, close-ups are going to be because I'm quite uh, far away from the camera. What does it smell like? It smells like... I think I'm going to be very bad with describing the scent. I know the smell. I've smelled it before. Destiny smells... Quite Christmas tree, I think, actually. That's that one. I'm terrible with describing smells anyway. And then there's a lush haul coming up maybe tomorrow. So another haul where all you can, all it is is me describing them really badly. Then I've got Candy Cane Lane. What is the point of me showing you these? You probably can't even see it. And um, that smells, I expected it to smell really sweet, but it smells like cakes and bacon and stuff. It's, that's not overly strong, quite a um, weak scent, is that how we describe it? Next is Red Apple Reef. This, can't, this smells really similar to Cozy by the Fire. It's really hard to smell them, obviously, when they're not burning, so... And all I can smell is, like, the bag in front of me. Oh, no, I did actually, I did actually smell a touch of apple there. Surprise or not. Next is Christmas Memories. Oh, that smells really heavily of cinnamon, I think. Really strong, spicy, like you've been baking cinnamon cakes or maybe gingery. That's that one. Then spark, sparkling cinnamon. So this one is going to taste cinnamon, uh, cinnamon, cinnamony, is that a word? Yeah. Actually, this one, I don't know what this one tasted like, so it tastes like smell, because I thought this one tasted like, smelt like cinnamon. But they taste, I keep on saying days, they're like the fifth time, they smell completely different. And this is one, uh, I think Christmas Memories is more spicy, and obviously the cinnamon one, sparkling cinnamon is just plainly cinnamon. It's quite like that one, but it's not overpowering the cinnamon one, so... 
If you're not a cinnamon lover, which I do like the taste of cinnamon, but I don't really like the smell of it. But honestly, I love that smell, which is quite how it's a weak scent. Then there's Berry Trifle, which I think is a new one to the uh, Christmas collection this year. It smells like strawberries and raspberries, that one. I suppose it's like a Berry Trifle. I think I'm going to do all the red candles by the looks of it first. Then that is Cranberry Ice. Which, again, I think, sorry, I am literally, my new setup, I will show you in a vlog. It is in the London, no, hallway, and I just thought, this, I just, uh, there was just someone walking past, so I've just seen who it is because I'm lazy. Um, so, yeah, oh, this one is probably my favourite one so far. Literally, straight up, smells like cranberries as it would, by the name of the candle, Cranberry Eyes. I really love that one. So I suppose if you like quite fruity scents, this is the fruitiest one so far. Because obviously a lot of Christmas scents are going to tend to be spicy, baking, um, Christmas tree smell, stuff like that. So that's quite a nice one actually, fruity. And there's Christmas Eve, which I will be burning on Christmas Eve and only be burning on Christmas Eve. Because I've got to follow by the title. That is really strong, like you've been baking. And where else? Yeah, to say quite spicy and bakey, so bakey, no, baking, yeah. Um, so that's all the red candles, the bag's a bit lighter now, and now I'm just going to go into the green candles. So we have got Bundle Up, which again is a new one, and bear in mind when I actually ordered all of these candles online, I didn't have a clue what any of them smelled like, so the, I am actually smelling them for the first time. But I really like that. I don't know what it smells like. I mean, I expect it to smell like the outdoors, because that's the picture on it, but it doesn't. I don't know. It smells like a nice perfume I've smelled before. I'd recommend you, actually, after watching this video, if you want to buy them, I would go into the shop yourself and smell them, because I... To me, this just smells like a nice perfume. Um, yeah, and then you have got Christmas Garland, which is one of the originals, I think. Yeah, that smells really heavily of Christmas trees, which really fresh and outdoorsy, so I really like that one. And then I will go on to the white candles, because there's quite a lot of them. That's five, I think, did I say? Season of Peace. That one smells, I don't even know, it just smells really fresh, cotton-like. Yeah, just really fresh and kind of like, like that one. Again, I think this possibly could be a new one. I uh, Don't quote me on it though because I'm not entirely sure. Snow in Love, which I know is an original. This smells really similar to, um, what was the last one I've just showed you? Uh, Season of Peace. This is a bit more stronger, I'd say. Again, it's just quite... Perfumey, that's what I think. Um, next we've got Winter Glow. That smells... I cannot smell uh, the white candles. I mean, I can't describe the scent of them. These are all three really similar. So if you wanted to maybe get a big job of them, I would only go for the one of them because of how similar they are. It smells... Again, quite cotton-like. A lot of these smell like cotton. Um, then you've got Sparkling Snow. Surprise, surprise, it smells like the other one. But you know what, that's quite good because I do like the scent, so it means I can use it five times around. This one smells a little bit more spicy, I'd say. But it's still quite cotton and fresh-like. And then we've got the last white candle. Do we think it will smell like cotton? Probably. And this is called Angel's Wings, which possibly could be a new one. Not it smells very similar to the other ones, but is a hint of different. Don't I? You're gonna have to definitely uh, go try to smell all the white candles because I don't have a clue what any of them smell like. Then we've got Christmas Cookie, which I know is a classic, and a lot of YouTubers rave about this one. That smells exactly like baking cookies obviously as you can tell by the name a lot of these actually do symbolize the name apart from all the white candles that smells amazing if you love the smell of freshly baked cookies and cakes you are guaranteed to love this one 
And then which one? Which one shall I save to last? I'm gonna save the snowflake cookie till last. So this one is icicles. I quite like the colour of this, you know. It's a bit different to the red, white and green. Not traditional, but I really like it because it screams winter and ice, as again by the name suggests. That smells. That smells like the outdoors. This smells like Christmas trees and the outdoors. Really like that one. And then the last one is Snowflake Cookie, which again I think maybe is quite a classic that YouTubers rave about. That's pink. And do you know what? That smells exactly like uh, the Christmas cookie. Is that if that's what it's called? I'm not very good with names. Yeah, so these two smell really similar. This is obviously the Christmas cookie is stronger scented and this is quite quite a subtle one. Quite a subtle cookie smell. I hope you enjoyed this really don't even know what I'm gonna call it. A video with me trying to describe scents of candles that I can't but it's quite hard to describe the scent of candles to be honest so thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos please click the subscribe button because my goal is 300 by Christmas and I really really want to reach that I know it's a small goal but to me it's a big goal so yeah thanks for watching bye